Hello everybody, welcome back to another TF2 tutorial, and yes, I know, yet again there's no game volume for this goddamn video, I'm really sorry for that, there's this setting in Marilis Action, and if you don't click it, you basically don't get audio for it, and like, there's a different kind of video that I do, you know, live commentaries and stuff, that I need to have my headphones as the main audio speaker, but instead, I use my speaker when I'm actually recording stuff, like after commentaries. The problem with that is I forget to change it back and forth and it just goes it just goes badly for me. Now, anyway, Sniper is probably my worst class. I'm gonna say it out right now. Sniper is a fun class, but it's probably the one I'm least prolific at. Because it's it's a difficult class. I I'm gonna admit it is not an easy class to play. It's not necessarily a difficult class. A friend of mine aptly named it a point and click adventure game but but with a gun and yeah, that's a pretty good way to describe it because very simplistically the point of a sniper is to point it click on their head before they kill you. That's, that's the point of a sniper. And and yeah, sniper is a pretty simplistic class to learn how to play after you learn how to get good headshots and get consistent. You know, it's pretty simple. It's just don't die and shoot them in the head. Now, no more dilly dallying. I'm on to my first piece of advice. And my first piece of advice is to never stop moving. Now, what I mean by that is in a completely different way to what I meant when I was talking about the scout. The scout it never stop moving in a sense because he's in your face and you have to fight him and it's general stuff like that. But sniper, you can't stop moving because there's other snipers. There's always other snipers in the team and you have to be careful when you're fighting them. So, if you stand still, you're going to get headshot within seconds depending on how good the sniper is. Usually the sniper is good enough to shoot you in the head while you're standing still. If not, consider yourself lucky. It is very easy to, to take on particular predictable snipers, but it's a bit more difficult to take on more veteran snipers. For example, when you're taking on, and like, you know, a new sniper, he usually stands still and doesn't, and probably tries to charge his shots. You can get straight up headshots whenever you want them. But, for more veteran players, kind of like myself, I'm, I'm, I consider myself alright at being a sniper, they'll, they'll move a lot, and they'll stop in a second and headshot you immediately. You have to be very, very careful on where you shoot and where you don't and where you decide to move. Because movement is key for a sniper. It, it's more key than you might think when you start playing this game. Because, sure, headshots are great, but if you stand still to get those headshots, you're going to get killed in like a second. My second piece of advice, which is very, very much for newer players, is if you're using the SMG, it's not your primary weapon. You, you should rarely use any other weapons from your sniper rifle, because your sniper rifle is the thing that, that manages to kill enemies. You sh I recommend Jurati personally, because it's just so useful for taking on spies. And... Or raise the back if you're really sick of like while you're zoomed in you get backstabbed immediately. Now of course I messed up a lot in this game, but I was kind of in a rush when making this, so I was so I was kind of jumpy when I was trying to make this, and it just went a bit wrong for me. But in light of that, that actually does help me give you the third piece of advice, which is quite simply, don't overthink your shots. Wait, what the hell? Doesn't the sniper have to aim? Therefore, that takes thinking. Yeah, I, I agree with you, but I'm just saying. Personally, the less I think about a shot, the more likely I get a headshot with it. The reason head newer players always always tend to do badly and never really get headshots is for one pretty good reason, which is which is they try and charge their shots. Charging is great. Charging is very very useful, but it's only really of use when um, a heavy is for when a heavy is overcharged, because otherwise straight up headshots can kill them. A steady hand is very much required in order to miss my headshots. That's usually why I miss most of my headshots, because I don't have a steady hand. I, I, I usually shake or panic a little bit before I get the headshot, which is why I miss a lot of my headshots during this. The calmer you are when you're taking your shots, the better. It makes it means you can breathe a bit more, if it means you can just take your headshot, and it means you can take them on in close quarters. Traditionally, people think snipers can't take other classes on in qu close quarters, but I disagree. Because if you can, and you still take them on, and you have a steady hand, you can headshot them while they're like in front of you. No problem. Now sniper is very much a class of prediction. Because, great, if they're walking in a straight line, you can headshot them no problem. But, in more usual senses, if they're rocket jumping, or they're not going in a straight line, you have to try and predict where they're going. Because they're not going to go in a straight line most of the time unless they're a newer player. Because newer players are basically just sniper bait. But, more veteran players, once again, will try and move around a bit. They'll try to be a bit less predictable. And that could be difficult if you don't know, if you don't have a good sense of prediction and you can't kind of 
check where they're going to go and where they're not going to go. Because a very good example of this is rocket jumping. Because rocket jumping and sticky jumping, they're going to go up straight in one direction. That's very predictable. And usually players who can do that aren't going to be as predictable when they're on the ground. So you should try to get air shots if you can. But if you can't, I don't blame you because I can't redo really my I can't redo really them myself. They're actually they're actually difficult to pull off sometimes because prediction is just because prediction is a tricky process. Now my next piece of advice is linked to one thing I said a minute ago, which was if you have an option between a fully charged body shot or a not at all charged headshot, take the headshot every time. Without fail. Always take the headshot. This is the mistake snipers make when they start this game. They realize charge shots give you more damage and think, oh, that's great, that's a great mechanic for helping me out. But it isn't. It, sl it slows down, it slows you down so much. It just, it slows you down so much and makes you so much less use useful than you actually could be. If you can get one straight up headshot, perfect. Go for that straight up headshot every time. Body shots, going back to my last point, make you panic because you're pressured because it takes like, takes about three seconds to completely charge it up. That's three seconds you have to stay in scope so if anything goes wrong or anyone doesn't go the way you expect them to you're gonna panic a bit and you're gonna miss your headshot so the only time you should really think about charging is if there is a right in the beginning of the game or the middle or the end <laughs> really if it's if a medic is charging a heavy and he has 450 health then you should try and charge it and get the headshot on the heavy because because that medic is then invested on the heavy and the medic will get killed very quickly if it's just him and the heavy. If you kill the heavy, the medic's left by himself, completely useless, and the rest of the team can just kill him in like a second, no problem. Surprisingly enough, people don't realize it, but apart from Spy, Sniper is the most capable class of taking down engineers. Like, if any engineer isn't in a hidden spot, snipers will easily take you down, and then two or three shots on your level three sentry will kill the sentry. But that's very much a matter of how capable the engineer is. Sometimes they hide behind the sentry because, and then their hitbox is undetected. The reason Sniper is a difficult is often considered a difficult class is because it's usually the class the first class people play because they're like oh I played sniper before in other games and sniper not hard well it's a lot harder in this game because you're expected to get headshots charge shots don't do as much and honestly you're you're pretty much vulnerable to everything so people always start with it and then get sick at TF2 which is why I feel I'm most compelled to do, to do this tutorial despite me being bad at this because people who are very bad at sniper and are very new to this game they, they hate the game immediately because they're bad at Sniper because it's, it's an entirely different class to what it would be in Battlefield 3. It's just a, it's, a, it's a completely different game. I would talk about how dangerous spies are for snipers, which they are, but I used a Razorback for this entire thing. If you don't have a Razorback, all I'm going to give is a short piece of advice saying don't stay in scope the entire time. This is linked back to the other two with the charging and the panicking, but for a different reason. Because if you stay in scope too long, you're probably going to die, even if you are moving. Because spies move just as fast as snipers do. But keep checking around, keep spy checking, keep going out of your scope and just making sure no one is right behind you, because sometimes people take their time trying to take do backstabs, and that usually ends up in you finding them. In all honesty though, sniper is sniper can be a difficult class depending on, on how well you know how, a, how the sniper's mechanics work. But my last piece of advice is of course to have fun, because sniper is probably the most fun class in the game after you learn how to use them properly and you get, to get your headshots because it is so satisfying to headshot a heavy who's killing your team. Anyway, that's it. If you like what you saw, I'll see you next time. If you didn't like what you saw, then I won't see you next time. Feel free to like and subscribe. Bye.